Yes, welcome back to Social Friday. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Mon every social media platform and it's always a pleasure. So we are back with our first segment of the day and today we, uh, we are going to be talking about uh, the power of humor in politics. So the saying goes, the two kinds of men that can never be ugly, a rich man and a man with a sense of humor. I don't know if this applies to the queens as well, but I can only speak for the demographic that I represent. Uh, so this has sparked our conversation for the day, and in studio with me is a legal expert and uh, aspirant for Nairobi Women Rep 2017, Karen, and uh, we have former J-Quot uh, chair, j -Quot Karen, and uh, aspirant for MCA, Nama Mali Ward in Kakamega, uh, Boniface. Karibuni Sana, if I missed anything in your, in your credentials in the intro, your camera is number four to Tanzania, the lady. That's okay. All right. Your camera is number four. Look them straight into the eyes. So, good morning. Thank you so much for having me here. My <laughs> name is Karen Nyamu. Uh, yeah, like he said, I vied for Nairobi Women in Rep in 2017. <laughs> and in Nairobi, they call me the youth president because <laughs> I champion for youth interest. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for coming through to Y in the morning and gracing the studio. Mm -hmm. um, Bonface Yolum. Mm -hmm. uh, the other name is Alexander. Mm -hmm. I also vied for member of county assembly for Namamari Ward. Mm -hmm. uh, it is in Matungu sub county, Kakamega County. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm a founder of Dagoret Youth and Women Development mm -hmm. Initiative, a community based organization here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm an undergraduate, Bachelor of Commerce. I'm a, an accountant. You're an accountant by yes. profession? Yes, please. All right. So, uh, your foundation is in Dagoreti? Yes, my foundation right now is in Dagoreti North. You vied in Kakamega? I vied in Kakamega County. All right, why the... Yes. I've stayed in Kakamega for many years. Uh -huh. uh, Nairobi here is a place of residence, uh -huh. and you've got to make impact wherever, where you live. Uh -huh. and even, as a leader? Yeah, as a leader, yes. Uh -huh. And even in Kakamega County, uh -huh. I've been making impact to my people uh -huh. uh, in Namamali Ward. Uh -huh. So I believe I'm all around. You're all round? Yes. Are you going for office in 2022? I'm going for an office in 2022, uh -huh. definitely, yes. Uh, which office? Yes, I'm, I'm still going for the same seat because uh -huh. I never cleaned the seat. I'm uh -huh. still going for a member of county assembly. Uh -huh. I need to be in the Kakamega county assembly to make to bring the change that people of Namamari need. Right. I believe I'm the best candidate in Namamari. So, Mwenye yes. Akosai, Akwe uh, Definitely must be prepared for a hot contest. All right. And I'm a politician, I'm going for that seat. All right, are you going back yes. for office? Uh. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'll be running for office. Not uh -huh. sure which office as yet, uh -huh. but definitely expect me to run for office in 2022. You'd like to represent your people? Yeah, I'd love to make, I'd love to change the youth story in uh -huh. this country. All right. Because it's still forgotten. <coughs> Nobody is very keen. Two major kind of leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow is now. That's it. All right. So uh, there are two kinds of politicians in the game. The very rich ones and the populists. The guys that can move the crowd. And the guys that can move the crowd always tend to be used by the rich ones uh, to, to get the crowd. If I'm not wrong, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Is this how the game goes? What are you, what are you saying? The populists at the same time are the rich ones? or? All right. There are those guys who are very rich who will finance the guys who can move the crowds. There are people who have a lot of money in this country and we are told they run things behind the scenes. And there are guys who have a lot of money and they're in office as well. And then we have those kinds of politicians who when they speak, people listen and people dance to their tune and people respond to their chants. Mm -hmm. Are we together up to that point? We are. All right. So uh, we have this issue uh, where we find these politicians, some of them are not really qualified. Some of them don't even know uh, the, 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 the roles of, of a member of parliament or an MCA. All they know is uh, to move crowds. And all they know is to make, uh, to be funny from time to time. All right, what do you guys think about this particular issue first? What, where, where is the problem? Is the problem with the voter uh, or <coughs> is the problem uh, with the system itself? Um, I don't think, I would not call it a problem because mm -hmm. you see, if we set ways of how to get a leader and mm -hmm. leaders are democratically elected, mm -hmm. that means you have to move voters. Mm -hmm. And so it's the, let the best guy win. Mm -hmm. So if I will apply my, the best way I know how to move voters and become a populist, then I must be the smartest among them. You know, there's, there's book smart and there's street smart. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, in politics, having a bit of experience vying for office before, mm -hmm. you need to be 
being street smart really counts mm -hmm. more than being book, book smart. Uh -huh. So you have to give it to these guys who you're calling populists. It's not right. easy to control crowds like that. It's not easy. All right, but, but what is it at the expense of? Because we take you to parliament to legislate, mm -hmm. to pass laws for us. So we don't need somebody who can... Okay, then you have to judge these populists, you're calling, these people you're calling populists, uh -huh. by their performance. Uh -huh. Because when you talk about a populist politician in Kenya, in my mind, I think about Raila, because he mo really moves crowds. Mm -hmm. I think about Mike Sonko, mm -hmm. because that's someone else who really moves crowds. Mm -hmm. So you just have to look at these people and uh, judge them against their performance. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. is, there pop is there populism or is there whatever you're calling it, lack of qualification, does it affect their performance? Mm -hmm. In Nairobi, we have seen a lot of people have been amazed by the, mm -hmm. by the performance of Mike Sonko. Mm -hmm. be that is because they did not expect him to perform like that. Mm -hmm. We have new stadiums. We have the national government promising stadiums year after year, 10 years about to end, no single stadium. Mm -hmm. Mike Sonko has promised about three to four stadiums. He has uh -huh. started, one is complete in Dandora. Uh -huh. And many other things, Kumwani has been revamped. Uh -huh. A lot of things that he has done, that uh -huh. you cannot now come and, and judge him against his populism, uh -huh. manner in, in how he got into office or or how popular he is. Uh -huh. Let us look at performance. how they perform. The side Raila shows, also, I just side shows. Uh -huh. Raila also has been able to contribute immensely uh -huh. to this country's uh, democracy. ETC. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing being a populist and there's another. How do you perform when you get to office? What do you do for the country? Alright, you look like you have something to say on this particular matter. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I really want to say something about, uh, you know, the politics in this country, we know how it has been mm -hmm. uh, inclined mm -hmm. or rather confined to uh, if you are a, pop a popular mm -hmm. candidate. Mm -hmm then people perceive that you are the most qualified. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? Just like you say, we started saying, you see these people, politicians who have money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes money has not been able to enable these leaders to bring out the idea, the mm -hmm. real idea mm -hmm. in themselves. Mm -hmm. So they are, also, they are sometimes now perceived to be, let's say, just pop or rather unqualified, mm -hmm. and they are just using, using humor to bring uh, voters to vote for them mm -hmm. into the offices. Someone could say even, let's say, a song, what he does, mm -hmm. the, the governor for Nairobi County, mm -hmm. what he does most of the time, or what, what he has done in the past. Many people will say that perhaps he's not uh, 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 academically, or rather a technocrat mm -hmm. to get into that office. Mm -hmm. But someone else will argue that, yes, well, he does what he does just to be able to, to, uh, so, uh, to relate to the people, to the, the youth. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, but you're going on, even getting into the office, you'll see that he's in a position to deliver mm -hmm. uh, while he's, he's in your office. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at uh, the, the two, uh, two different ways. Mm -hmm. For example, my, my governor, Oparanya, mm -hmm. is not a, a, as humorous as you, you might even relate to any to other politicians. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's another politician, a very serious one. Mm -hmm. So, but he, he has managed two times in the office and mm -hmm. you can see what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the ground, he's now, he has brought the, the national youth, actually the national youth, uh, uh, NYS has been devolved in Kakamega County, he mm -hmm. has launched the other time. Mm -hmm. So you see, such like leaders, uh, they might be construed, uh, or rather misunderstood in, in, in some sense. Mm -hmm. Because we are voters who vote for people who just have ideas and opinions. Mm -hmm. But we have a kind of voters who we'll just vote for people, uh, for politicians, because simply because they've come with money and they are humorous and they have money. Mm -hmm. So what am I saying? The society we are living in uh -huh. is, is what has made us to be in that position. Mm -hmm. That uh, you find that a larger group of population, uh, which is the, let's say, the youth, mm -hmm. who are quite impoverished in this country, and they, uh, they are able to, to follow a politician uh, simply because you have money. Mm -hmm. So in that case, what are we supposed to do? This youth or these people, who are in this category would not follow the ideas of these politicians, who are, or rather, who are, if I'm contesting for an elective seat in Mamali, Namamali Ward, uh, mm -hmm. this actually the voters, are, they have to put me in a corner, they have to ask me questions, they have to interrogate me very well whether I'm qualified for that position or not. Mm -hmm. Because, as my lawyer will, will tell you, that we have three key roles of a member of counter assembly or a, a, national, a member of a national assembly. Mm -hmm to legislate, to oversight, and to do what? To represent. Mm -hmm. So we have leaders who are in, in not even a position to legislate simply because they do not have 
the prerequisite qualification to be in th those offices. Mm -hmm. So going forward, I think uh, voters also have a they, are a, uh, they have a role to play, hugely to play in this in this case mm -hmm. to ensure that we have ro a little as well aura and uh -huh. be able to deliver again. Thank you very much, uh, Governor Lonyanga. Po, <laughs> all right, is undoubtedly the most popular politician as we speak right now on yes. social media, on the internet. Can we underestimate the power of humor in politics? Definitely not. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, Governor Lenyanga Po is a very pleasant guy. Uh -huh. And uh, even being elected, likability has a lot to do with uh -huh. being elected. Sometimes uh -huh. just his, his humor. Uh -huh. You just see this is a pleasant guy and you end up electing the guy. So yeah, he does really have uh, a role to play. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it also has to do with someone's personality. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. It charm and a, charisma. Yeah, you can't force, uh -huh. you can't force such charm. Uh -huh. You can't force, you can't fake it, such uh -huh. sense of humor. You know, he is such unnatural. He ooze that thing. Yeah, uh -huh. you just want to be around him. Uh -huh. And he just looks like a funny guy. All right. <laughs> so we have a <laughs> clip of uh, Loyang Po right there on screen. If we can uh, watch it and maybe listen to it, maybe. Uh -huh. As we line that up, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. We are going to get a sample clip and just uh, get to talk more about this particular issue that we are addressing today, humor and politics and the power of it. And are we uh, counting on this at the expense of what leaders need to be doing in particular? Let's watch the clip. Now when you want to kiss the radio, Leo pia ishara kubwa ilifanyika hapa kwamba for the first time national government policies ambayo huwa nasinduliwa Nairobi kila mwaka tangu 1963 leo simesinduliwa West Pokot hapa na nitasoma ya kwanza ya kwanza inaitwa National Female Genital Fistula Strategic Framework Policy pale makofi Hiyo ni kiingereza tubu. <laughs> na namba mbili. Na unajua ni national si kaundi inaitwa namba mbili ni national training curriculum for healthcare workers. Makofi. <laughs> namba tatu, national training curriculum for community health volunteers. Makofi. Ngapi? Tatu. Alafu tukaongeza yetu mpili ya kaundi ya kaundi West Pokot EMTCT business plan yeye tuli tuli tuliwanyesha pale namna tunataka ku deal mambo ya health kwa West Pokot na kuendelea kuanzia leo 39 alafu moja ambayo sisi ni number 1 tumeshinda kaundi siote chini flat 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 sisi number 1 FIF act to me sign live life sheria leo imebadilika kuwa stories imekuwa sheria ya kusema nini kila facility sasa west pokot mtokota ile pesa mnatoa alafu hiyo pesa ita circulate ikakaa ikatumiwa kwa hiyo facility for, for facility improvement kwanza sasa tablets yote na madawa hata ile kubwa ikichelewa pesa iko ya kununuliwa inaitwa facility improvement fund so leo nimesema hayo na mwaka jana mwezi wa 9 nikimaliza mwezi wa 6 nikimaliza first lady sisi pia tulifunja record hapa in the north drift outside the turret all right that is governor lanyango po west pokot pali i can make very important announcements those are very very important announcements uh, projects of the national government if we were to translate this to say the united states or the uk our colonizers it would be a very kind of different kind of temperature different kind of environment if you ask me uh, when such things are being announced by a governor over there uh, the lingo is different do we agree? Traditionally, we assume politics at our kind of official politician time. Bonu Bonu Java suit. Traditionally, right? 
All right, so is this, <laughs> is this where we are taking it? Is this how we are going to be having our conversations in future, maybe in parliament and, and uh, the Senate and whatnot? And is this how it's supposed to be? Um, we can't talk about having such lingo in parliament and Senate because there are official languages that you can use in Senate and mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in the National Assembly. But when you're dealing with your people, mm -hmm. when you t because he's addressing his people, mm -hmm. what to work, mm -hmm. I mean, he just needs to be himself. Mm -hmm. We need to relax and demystify leadership, mm -hmm. you know, so that your people can be able to relate well with you mm -hmm. and not all the time you know, make it appear like a ser serious business every mm -hmm. time you're, you're with your people. I mean, just relax, demystify leadership, let uh -huh. people know what you're doing. Uh -huh. As long as you're having an, a direct impact uh -huh. on your people's lives, that is all should matter. And Professor Lunyangapo, at the end of his term, because uh -huh. this is his first term, uh -huh. we are going to have to see what he has done for. Uh, despite people, all these attacks. Despite attacks making and us happy uh -huh. and making us laugh, uh -huh. he, his people will have to judge what he has, he has done. So at the end of the day, all roads lead to the top of the tree. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. Despite all these antics, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, I think it, it depends with the occasion, uh -huh. uh, the occasion and where you're saying it. Because uh -huh. if you get to the National Assembly, uh -huh. you have to you have to, have to bring out that demeanor of the, uh -huh. of the National Assembly. Actually, uh -huh. you need to follow the all the pro procedures in the National Assembly. You you just do that. Uh -huh. You'll not uh, start talking like uh, Lesel Nyangapu is saying. <laughs> yes. Nyangapu has chosen an audience in his area. Uh -huh. And uh, they are very excited with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, at that particular time, uh, in that occasion, it was, it was, it was just well mm -hmm. with Lonyangapo. Mm -hmm. Because people understood him, his people understood him very well. And uh, despite, in fact, he's, a, he's an intellectual and uh, you cannot rule him out. Mm -hmm. or let's say you cannot say now he doesn't know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So many people would have judged him that he does not understand, let's say, even what the policies are all about. Mm -hmm. But he's a professor of mathematics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he understands very well. So whatever he's saying here, even the, the technocrats and intellectual outside here, they will say, I mean, Nyagapo knows what he's doing. Uh -huh. So they will support him on that. Right. They will not dismiss him that he's not qualified. Yes, we are living in the age of memes and vines. Mm -hmm. Are we together after yeah. that point? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, these guys have ended up uh, to be victims of memes and viners uh, out here on Instagram, and people make a lot of fun. This became a phenomenal <laughs> online. Uh, this picture separately, and uh, this video separately, and the other one separately. So first, is this fair to the politician to be uh, used like this on social media? I mean, once your life is in public, uh -huh. my friend, you cannot you cannot separate you, you don't have private life and you uh -huh. cannot say this is fair this is not uh, this is unfair this is fair uh -huh. i hear people in the public eye complaining uh -huh. about what blogs have written my friend if you google my name today right now uh -huh. you will see so many stories uh -huh. some fake uh -huh. some with one percent truth uh -huh. and then a hundred percent all manner of things uh -huh. so i mean we sign up for this uh -huh. as a politician when, or any person in the public eye uh -huh. So, I mean... I, we can't I, say it's fair or not fair. You cannot say it's fair or not fair. What I know uh -huh. is that a lot of politicians are not affected by those memes. Uh -huh. They are not affected by those stories. They don't see them. They see them. Me, for mm -hmm. one, I see my stories, uh -huh. but I don't, I don't care. All right. So, some of As a legal expert, what mm -hmm. is to be done in cases of defamation, in cases where people have written articles, 1% truth, 99% fabricated? You see... When you, feel, when, when you go for legal ad redress, uh -huh. it all depends on how it affected you. Mm -hmm. If, I mean, if you suffered damage, uh -huh. emotional... There has to be damage. Yeah, there has to be damage. If you suffered some damage, uh -huh. emotional is part of it. Uh -huh. So there are people who, I mean, it's in the law. You uh -huh. have a right to go ahead and sue if, uh -huh. you, if you feel like. But a lot of people let it pass because uh -huh. they view it as inconsequential uh -huh. and for lack of better word, uh -huh. as nonsense nonsense yeah. <laughs> you can say it out loud mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, <laughs> do you think it's fair to the politicians to wake up in the morning and end up uh, on funny clips and we are going to be showing some of them i, I think uh, our president made yes. a child cry I, in a video that i yes. saw and this was a fabricated video and if you're watching it for the first time you can believe it 
I, I think in, the, in this era we are living in, uh -huh. such things are going to be there for longer than we expect. Uh -huh. uh, because it's politics and Kenya we're playing politics all around. So if you say such like a thing uh -huh. or such like a mockery, uh -huh. uh, it's political uh -huh. in nature. And it's sending a, very, a, a sound message, a very loud message to uh, the opponent. Uh -huh. It is a criticism in, in, a, in one way or the other. Uh -huh. So I, I don't think we can rule them out what uh -huh. they are saying. Some, someone is not communicating by himself, mm -hmm. but is letting the person, uh, the, uh, the person who is supposed to, criti to be criticized, mm -hmm. uh, or rather criticize himself. So in, in other way, you, are not, you, you can't say that, let's say the president said that, but you let the president say by himself. Mm -hmm. So uh, technology has come, uh, come in hand. Uh -huh. uh, just to play that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're about to watch uh, Raila, aka Baba's funniest moment. Some of his funniest moments, and then we'll carry on the conversation after. Let's watch it. I'm sorry. This is Lena's. You said you look alike. Allah, <laughs> maga fully style. Oda maga fully ta. We have a talent center in, in Kenya, in Kenya, and in Kenya, <laughs> and in the clouds. <laughs> when I'm elected, I will not be watching the Formula 4 in Dubai, and you mark the word when, not if. I'm, I'm elected. elected. I, I, I don't think he was meaning a whole route, unless they themselves feel guilty. <laughs> I don't remember ever saying that Uhuru wa Menguka na sijia mikunya nini. But that basically means that the kitchen is too hot for him. <laughs> so if the kitchen is too hot, get out. <laughs> That is shout out to hashtag VidKE. So we have another issue arising. Some of the funny moments are when mtu anaruka story. Kipetero kies. Kipetero kies. Yes. Mtu alisema namna hii. Akaruka story. Those are some of our funniest moments. Mm. Is this uh, like do you have to have this trait to be a politician? Like in nature, where kuruka story has to be part of you, has to be in your DNA. Kuruka story yeah. is very important part, part of damage control. Uh -huh. Kama unaweza. Uh -huh. Unaona? Kama unaweza jitoa kwa ngori na kuruka. Uh -huh. And I mean, it's just part of distancing yourself from a mistake, you know? Uh -huh. You made. But uh -huh. sometimes it backfires because we have clips. To yes, video, the internet does not forget. We say hivi, kama juzi, we know what Moses Kuria said. Uh -huh. And he said it's gushi. <laughs> Yeah. I wish you had that clip light up. <laughs> so Kuruka story is part of the game. Do you agree? It's yeah, a, it's yeah for that control. Skill. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a skill for politicians. Eh? Uh -huh. uh, you, 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 at some skill? point, you, you you are put to a corner. You go to, you are misquoted, misunderstood. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yeah, such like stuff. Misquoted, misunderstood. Those are some of the words we can use. All right, let's get a taste of uh, the deputy president William Ruto. Uh, some of his funniest moments as we proceed to give you what you need. I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody. Lakini sasa hata kama umepigwa na bibi yako, wewe unaenda kwa police station kwenda ku report. Si unanyamaza unasema bora watu wengi hawajaniona wacha ninyamaze. If you don't get the one you love. Okay. We are back. And that is the Deputy President William Bruto, one of the funniest, by the way, and one of the most popular, and one of the most charismatic politicians, and one of the most skills we, skilled we've ever seen. So yeah, his video in particular, I'd like to address the issue of Mchongwano. Mm -hmm. Mchongwano is part of being a politician. Lazimi kwa DNA. Asha tuanze na wewe roundi. Yeah, Mchongwano ni lazima. Like the human, no. Uh, uh -huh. The humor is very important, uh -huh. and Mchongwano is part of it. So if you see Raila Odinga uh -huh. um, using too much of Mchongwano, uh -huh. he's targeting a certain group of people. Uh -huh. 
those people that the, those people who like um, uh -huh. So like even the Vitandaweli has used most of the time uh -huh. and he has been branded that Vitandaweli. <laughs> so Mutua Vitandaweli. And mm -hmm. it has come a brand and it's more, it has been moving, helping mm -hmm. him very fast. Mm -hmm. If you say the other day, the other day Muchongwano, Tanga Tanga wana Tanga Tanga. Mm -hmm. But Tanga Tanga became a movement. Uh -huh. So if you, Muchongwano, how you use it is what matters. Uh -huh. It could just make someone popular. Uh -huh. It could just make someone get what he wanted. So be very careful. So you be very careful with Muchongwano uh -huh. as, as well. Mtu kumbe exactly, you just made him. Like rap music. Yes. <laughs> All right. What about you? Muchongwano is a, is, is very, is a, sema, it's a very good way of handling your opponent. Uh -huh. You don't need to sound bitter, uh -huh. you don't need to sound angry uh -huh. and what. So, when I'm chongwa, you have hit him, na your story is sharp. Uh -huh. But now, when you start complaining and, and being the victim bitter. all the time, uh -huh. and uh, William Ruto is a master of that chongwa, no uh -huh. game. And Ray, like, I, I For and I follow them closely. <laughs> <laughs> to number two. All right. And most of the time, they're doing it to each other. Uh -huh. Ruto to Raila, Raila to Ruto, you uh -huh. know. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a source of entertainment for us That's as well. Mm. So Chongwano is part of the DNA. DNA. Kuruka story muimu. Skills. <laughs> skills. Those are top skills. <laughs> All right, let's watch another clip right here. We have a clip of Ferdinand Waititi, governor for Kiambu County. Turia Nairobi. Mimi Nairobi pale, ni melelewa pale. Na nimekuwa deputy governor wa Nairobi. Mambo igina mi naona pale, kama hiyo watu wana support ya ubomu haji, Mimi hapana support. Mambo iangaliwe kama kuna nyumba yako inakaribiana na muto. Wewe uambiwe ni gharama yako kuhakikisha hiyo mtu imesonga kidogo. Lakini kubungua nyumba is not a solution. Honestly speaking, it's such a big loss. Na tena mjue Nairobi beleni ilikuwa ni mashamba. Nairobi beleni kulikuwa na mashamba freehold. Na ndio umeona juzi ule mzee ameshikwa na drama kubwa sana ule mburu amewachiliwa kwa sababu title deed yake ni genuine hiyo shaba ilikuwa yake na 86 acres watu walipiga bwembwe at corruption corruption ni sahihi hawezi shikwa kwa sababu watu wameona makaratasi ile genuine mimi nataka niwaambie kama sahihi pia mnapigana na corruption wale hapo wanafanya hiyo kazi kidogo muende pole pole mchunguze maneno sawa sawa hapana kimbia pa 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 pa, 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 pa ati ni corruption corruption ati ni kubomoa manyumba pa 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 ati mnabomoa manyumba kwa sababu saa ingine kama ilikuwa shamba ilikuwa shamba ambaye imepita muto hakukuwa na riparian ilikuwa title deed ni ya mtu mmoja yule mtu alinunua hiyo plot hakupimiwa ati mpaka hapa ndio kwako na sasa maneno ya riparian ya 30 meters imekuja wakati wa mishuki akiwa minister wa environment kwa hivyo maneno ya kubomoa nyumba za watu Oh yes, that is Governor Ferdinand Waititu Kiambu County. And this is the new age Moses, the 21st century Moses, uh, moving waters. All right, the reason I play this clip, is it politician like, ama ni, ni trait to kuambia watu kitu anataka kusikia at the expense of looking down sometimes? Is that also part of the DNA? I think uh, out of what uh, find, uh, Governor White said. Because it's just telling people what they mm. want to hear. What work yes. <laughs> when you are going to Nyumba and some of the people, yeah. were, as much as he's fighting for, for his own interest. Mm. At some point also, these leaders need to be very careful with what, uh, with, with, with what they say. Mm -hmm. Yes, what he said, he, wa he wanted to defend some, uh, a certain group of people. Mm -hmm. But I don't think even mo most of the majority of uh, Kiambu residents are owning uh, Apartments, or they are being demo, uh, their houses are being demolished in this. In this, Kiambu is the richest county in yes. this country. Yes. Most billionaires come from Kiambu County. Yes. They own apartments in Nairobi. Yes, yes. But you, I, I think that is also being stereotyped, uh -huh. and it's it's now making it's coming to make even the Kiambu residents, all, all of them, uh -huh. uh, look like they are all billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, 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 and I, I'm telling you there are several people in Kiambu County mm -hmm. who are desperate. Uh -huh. So when they hear such like such statements, they all, they also get to wonder uh -huh. uh, what kind of uh, a governor has become to be. Uh -huh. But again, uh, he just wanted perhaps to defend something. He knows that actually he was uh, he was the next to be targeted, or mm -hmm. some individuals were to be targeted, mm -hmm. and he just wanted to put a like, let's say a halt or to face it on and mm -hmm. tell them with the other option or if to change the, the flow of uh, mm -hmm. rivers in Nairobi County. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a message he sent to a certain 
a social class of people. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Mm. So uh, the question is, let, uh, let's not move away from the question. Do you think mm. politicians sometimes just tell people what they want to hear and at the expense of looking, you know, for lack of better words, down? Yeah, we have politicians who do that. Mm -hmm. But you see, you, you say certain statements at the expense of... Uh, uh, the, min uh, the, ma the marginalized, uh -huh. or rather they were not to be able to defend themselves. Uh -huh. So it is quite inconsequential in that case. You'll uh -huh. just say it by, because you know they will not say anything uh -huh. in return. But you see, uh, politicians need to be very careful. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying right. sometimes. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this issue? Do you think sometimes it's necessary just to tell people what they want to hear uh, at the expense of looking uh, kidogo, you know? Yeah, in this case, I think Governor Tito's imagination was just running on overdrive. Uh -huh. Back to your issue, like you said, you politicians say what the people want to hear sometimes. Uh -huh. You have to do that sometimes, depending on the mood. Uh -huh. The latest victim of this issue has been Jaguar. Uh -huh. When he was telling his people that they were going to beat foreigners uh -huh. who are trading in Stere and escort them to the airport uh -huh. and all that, and uh -huh. it got him in trouble. Uh -huh. because. You cannot talk about Tanzanians mm -hmm. and other people who we have, uh, East African, mm -hmm. a, a pact with. Mm -hmm. Matters of international relation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and regional, because we mm -hmm. have uh, regional relations with Tanzania, mm -hmm. for example, Uganda, Rwanda, yeah, mm -hmm. we have a pact. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the president said that there's going to be free flow mm -hmm. between uh, us and Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So if you start making reckless statements that you're going to beat Tanzanians mm -hmm. and send them home, not forgetting that a lot of Kenyans are also working in Tanzania, Tanzania and, and the rest of the world. This, we are enjoying this uh, relationship with them. Uh -huh. I mean, he was just saying what his people want to hear. Uh -huh. He didn't think it out. Uh -huh. He knows that uh -huh. it's not, it can't work. Uh -huh. But we do, we do that sometimes, even <laughs> during campaign. <laughs> you I admit. Have to admit. <laughs> all right. The big question is, out of all this, saying what the people want to hear, Kuruka story ending up in memes and Show vines mm. is publicity mm. publicity negative publicity positive publicity is it still publicity in the world of politics yeah in the world of politics publicity is publicity mm -hmm. either way it makes you uh, stronger mm -hmm. uh, now it, it depends on how you look at it After common corruption. even if it's corruption mm -hmm. corruption has made some politicians in this country now more popular mm -hmm. Uh, they have masses now. They have several following uh, on their Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, yeah. on social media. And that is what... And they are most, yes. they're most Google search. E exactly. Mm -hmm. So you find that if you come up with some, uh, such like even a propaganda, mm -hmm. you have to be very careful on where you are directing that propaganda and if it will work out. Tanga Tanga, just like I said, is now uh, it has become a, a movement. movement. And of it, um, yes, mm -hmm. and it is something the, the opponents created uh, for for the Tanga Tanga for the for the deputy Ruto's team, mm -hmm. so and it's going to be a battle with the Tanga Tanga with the another movement that will come mm -hmm. along. So it started that way. So even corruption as a tongue, because even if there is a corruption and you see that person you've not persecuted him, uh -huh. you've not taken him through the legal uh -huh. uh, processes, headlines and yes, and headlines are there. Headlines uh -huh. are there. You make that person popular uh -huh. over nothing. Uh -huh. If he is corrupt, let, 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 let us hear that the DPP or the DCI DPP have taken the initiative to take that person to court, to court. and he has been prosecuted. And find or jail. Find or jail. Uh -huh. But you see, there has never been a conviction. Uh -huh. For instance, in this case, uh, uh, the deputy president is a victim of, this, of, the, of that propaganda. Uh -huh. Let me not say either propaganda or not propaganda, because even all along we've not seen any convictions. Uh -huh. and so we can say yes. corrupt or not? You cannot say he's corrupt or not. Because the court has Be not proven Yes, the, co the court has not proven him yet. Yeah. All so right. Thank you very much. Publicity mm. is publicity. Uh -huh. What do you think about this? Yeah, publicity is publicity. And most of the time we see that uh, negative publicity works much better than positive publicity in politics. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a fact. I remember in my own experience, this guy, Senior Kundi, uh -huh. he's a bully. Uh -huh. So when I just joined politics, uh -huh. he used to write articles about me, bad mouth me, uh -huh. crazy things. Have you ever met him, by the way? I've not met him. Uh -huh. Would you like to meet him and confront him? No, no, no. He you don't care? Me. He made me, he later admitted, eh? uh -huh. he did an, an article later when he saw that I had taken off his, he, he wrote, I made this curse word uh -huh. famous. Uh -huh. So you see, Maybe he wanted to bring me down mm. or he had been paid to bring me down. Mm -hmm. But you see, it worked to the opposite. It uh -huh. worked. The effect was opposite. Uh -huh. 
So he just sat down and wrote another one and said, he's the, no, he wants to claim that he, he made you. Me famous. Tell him mm. to make another another you then, yeah. if he made you. Mm. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I'll give you one at only 30 seconds each. Talk to your mm. people. The guys who you want to represent in 2022 and talk to your people, the guys who you want to represent in 2022. Let's start with the lady. 30 seconds. Your camera is number four. Uh, I do a politics in Nairobi, so obviously I'm talking to Nairobi residents. Mm. Uh, I'll say thanks for the support that you gave me last time. It was immense. As a beginner, I didn't expect it was overwhelming. But this time, huh? uh -huh. this time we are together. Uh -huh. Let's take it to me. Let's finish to my uh -huh. because I have this vision for young people uh -huh. and I want to use legislation and working together with the national government and county governments to make sure that the youth are getting empowered and they're building the nation and this way the country benefits because the youth get to take part in tax pay and the youth are the majority in the country. I Let's strike make the use of this labor. Thank you very much for coming through to one morning. <laughs> Right, thank you for this opportunity. Uh -huh. uh, well, let me take uh, this opportunity to thank uh, my governor uh, weekly for Mbetho Paranya. Mm -hmm. I know he's in a legal dispute with the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, for initiating a county youth and women program, a development program, empowerment program, and I thank him for that. For Nama residents, I thank them for the opportunity they gave me. Uh, they have been very supportive uh, in my endeavor going into politics for the first time and uh going forward 2022 i think i'm uh, the right candidate for that position going forward mm -hmm. uh, i wish also to say that uh, there's been insecurity in, in matungo constituency i know kdf is still there and we still pray that there is going to be tranquility that we, we all need mm -hmm. uh, for us to continue developing our county all right. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for coming through. All the best in your endeavors. I wish you guys all the best and thank you thank uh, for you. what you're doing to your people, uh, the people that you represent, even out of office. Santi Sana. We have come to the end of the first segment of the day on Social Friday on uh, Why in the Morning. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. We still have guests from County 042, DJ Matrizi and Oteno Martin, who's a comedian on social media, and he takes advantage of these politicians sometimes. Uh, so be sure to tune in and interact with us on our, on our social media handles at White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Don't touch that out on go nowhere. Uh, uh, yeah.